All right. Well, we've got some stuff, some supplies planned for tonight. <laughs> I felt like no five-year anniversary for me was complete without using my Cedar Point cups. In the great tradition of Cedar Point, we are going to. It's not going to go over, is it? I'm no bartender. That is one massive head. Well, while that settles down, let's talk just a little bit. We had Jimmy Chapman, who is a longtime viewer, and he is also a longtime Patreon uh, subscriber uh, or supporter. Definitely appreciate him a lot, but he said that he and his wife planned a drinking game for my videos. So... I thought for five years on YouTube, I would celebrate by having a bash party. But what he said was, my wife and I are going to make a Not Your Normal Guy drinking game. Trent has a drink, take a sip. Trent has his shirt off, take a drink. The entertainer plays, take a shot. I forgot my hat. I knew I needed to complete something. All right, <laughs> I, I stopped playing the entertainer quite a while ago. Um, so that's not something that we're going to do, except when I play any kind of music at all, that will be another uh, shot. So we're going to have some fun. Now, I have told you guys, do not do this. You will die. I hope I don't die. <laughs> I don't think I will. <laughs> but we, uh, we are going to check it out and just see what happens. Um, while we watch this video. Now, that being said, I also am not really giving myself much of a chance. I have selected the most of all of this video that I think I could possibly have. And that video is, I rode every single ride at Cedar Point. So we are going to check this one out See what it's like. I'm going to put some headphones in so that things don't get all weird. And uh, let's go. You guys ever put cords in your pocket and this happens in five seconds? That's, that's what the problem is right now. It's like some evil minion lives in my pocket and just tangles up cords. That's his whole job. Oh, I forgot to say also, with every one of the... Uh, shirtless times or if my shirt's open or anything like that just to make things more spicy and just to keep with my own brand I will unbutton a button every single time just because why not <laughs> just for the heck of it so that's that's the plan for this so that's just adding one more spot to it so I'll button this one up so that there's a little bit more uh, to cover me so anyway let's go Ooh, I hate that logo. That's the logo where it zooms out, and I hate that. Oh, here's a drink. So what do I do? I take a sip. Trent has a drink. Take a sip. All right. Always time well spent. But this one's good. How big is a sip, though? I don't know how big a sip is. But I, I took a sip. But right now, everything that we need to do is over here. But right now, everything that we need <laughs> to do... Repeating myself. Is over here. That that should be another part of a drinking game. By the way, if you have plans for a drinking game for my channel, uh, please post them down below in this in the comments of this video. I'd love to hear from you guys, and I'm sure you guys can be very creative, and I'd love to hear it. But that's why I have this. Oh, again, we're just gonna take another sip. We're gonna be very liberal on this. If it shows a drink, or I take multiple sips, I take multiple sips. If there's a stretch of time in between when my shirt isn't shown and then my shirt is off again, I'll unbutton a button and take a drink. We're here to have fun. <laughs> Not just to watch me watch it, but that's basically what's been so far. Patreon, shameless plug. <laughs> Go check out my Patreon if you want to. Someone also said on the community tab on YouTube, that I should take a drink anytime that they mention a ride. And they've already talked about, I've already talked about, why am I talking in the third person about myself? I've already talked about uh, Max Air. So you know what? I'm gonna take a sip for every time. So 
sip from Max Air. If we go through a couple beers, that's okay, right? It's fine. So well, that's what we're gonna do. But every time I mention it, we'll do that. Every time I say the name of the ride. Right here at the entrance to Troika. Troika is what I call it. Troika, Troika, Troika. Here we go. We gotta make this fun. It can't just be like every 10 minutes that I get to drink something. <laughs> We're gonna do it, we gotta do it. I hate Troika, Troika, Troika. Leave down in the comments what you think about Troika, 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 because to me, it's like, it's the worst thing. I'm gonna go get my glasses. My ring light isn't on, so I can have my glasses on. Yeah, this was a very boring beginning part of a video because it was just constantly going from ride to ride to ride that I hate and I wasn't riding them. I waited until the end to ride these rides because they have way longer lines than I want to wait in. All right, we've got our drink. Oh, another drink. Bumble Ale. About to spill it everywhere. Yeah, so I did want to ride Giant Wheel. I just couldn't because you can't ride it by yourself. I did get to ride it with along for the ride later on in the year. Like the very last day I got to ride it, but that's all. Cause even when I came with friends, I didn't want to ride it. It's too long of a line to wait for. <laughs> oh, but he also said the name of another ride, right? So another step. So far, I'm not feeling anything or like, it's, it's all just normal it hasn't been enough yet i'm about to take my shirt off though so here comes a drink you are standing right in the hot sun it's a really hot ride oh music what do i do for music the entertainer plays take a shot here we go okay yeah so here's where it's gonna get going fast now <laughs> i have more too so if i run out i run out that's fine Oh, and my shirt's Today's open. Shirt open with a beer kind of a day. Especially since I just have to stand here and wait. <laughs> Woo! All right. Unbutton a button. Quality right content. Here, they haven't all right. All, and a drink. This is seriously I don't know how much a drink is, but we're going to decide. You could possibly wait for. Um, every single time I wait for the giant wheel it is just we'll, so we'll add a sip to that one okay so we're gonna be liberal but we have to decide how often like am i still shirtless or shirt open i don't know i i have to figure that out now so i'm here forever <laughs> a slow one i don't know right there like showed my whole torso so should that be it no See, I feel like that could go for forever no then. The like, I feel like it, just, that can't be it. You know what though? There it is again. So we're just going to do one more and this. My Irish, does this get a no, tan? this doesn't get a tan. <laughs> I can drink. Well, Trent takes a drink. Get another sip. Oh, music. Again, music. Another shot. Yeah, this is okay. So we can't do it every time, right? <laughs> Heading off. Is that a shot? Twirl. See how long this one takes. This time I can ride we'll it. We'll call that a shot. I will. Some ice would make that a lot better. But it does the trick, I guess, right? Okay, I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's been 15 minutes. <laughs> Still got three more times of 15 minutes. I do ride all the rides I say that I ride. If I didn't ride the ride, then I tell you I didn't ride the ride. I never lie about whether I rode the ride or not because I don't feel like there's any purpose to it. So you can always trust me. I did ride the ride when I tell you that I rode the ride. Oh, I took off my shirt. There he is. There are those manly pecs. All right. Drink. What happens if I like? I'll. I guess I'll just be shirtless for the rest of the video, if uh, if it gets to that point, huh? Did anyone actually use the cabanas out there for CP Nights this last year? If you use the cabanas, tell me down below in the comments if you use the cabanas for CP Nights or for whatever else they may have used it for. I don't know if that was only for CP Nights or for another thing, but. If you used it, let me know. Did I miss a ride? No. 
Yes, I did. Tro uh, yeah, the scrambler on the Nexus. <laughs> I can't think of what it's called right now. What's it called? <laughs> this is bad, guys. <laughs> anyway, take a sip. <laughs> Snake River Expedition. It's closed, but still. Cheers. This isn't going to last me. There's no way. I need to go get another one. Lake Erie Eagles. Okay, we pause. We got to go get another beer just in case. Also, I brought some gin just in case I need it. So that'll sit right there. And it's another one of those. I don't really like these flowered ones, but whatever. Oops. Wrong <laughs> one. <laughs> Probably like should put my earbud in, shouldn't I? This is fun. <laughs> you know what? We'll count the kids area. Because I don't, like, obviously I'm not riding all of the kids area stuff. But it is technically, like, an attraction. I'm just not doing it for this challenge. Or I never did it for this challenge. Lake Erie Eagles. I said it again. Lake Erie Eagles does feel like a long wait. And I said Snake River Expedition again, too. That's why I just took a drink. But Lake Erie Eagles does feel like a really long wait because yeah. it is such a long... <laughs> I, I have one brain cell left and it's gone from the alcohol. Um, <laughs> Lake Erie Eagles is a long wait because they have to both get people in. So they have to, like, uh, use their little their little metal thing to like get every kid in and out of of the seat every time uh so that key takes a really long time to get all the way through and to let every person in and every person out one time i used my key to get out and they got mad at me like really fast <laughs> so don't do that oh uh, that's a good way to get i don't know i don't know that you get kicked out but it's a good way to get in trouble I think I just said Snake River Expedition, so. I love Snake River Expedition. It is one of my favorite rides. <laughs> I'm so excited to go back, guys. <laughs> I just can't wait. But alas, I still have, well, I guess about two months. A little bit less than two months right now as this is being filmed. That being said though, this is past my five year anniversary. Um, so also, if you don't know, I started on YouTube a very long time ago. Well, I guess five years ago with uh, Disney reviews, but nobody watched them <laughs> or very few people watched them. There are probably still a few of you hanging around. So if you are one of those OGs, please let me know if you are someone who remembers all of the Disney reviews. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Started out with Disney reviews and that became the thing that I loved, but I put so much time and energy and effort into it. And during the pandemic, I just started doing other things. Just just anything I possibly could. Um, throwing just anything at the wall, just to see if it would stick, see if someone would like it. And uh, it was like the algorithm just said, do Cedar Point. And I loved Cedar Point already. I would go every year, all that kind of stuff, but I wouldn't go at the frequency I go now. But since then, I have become someone who knows a lot about Cedar Point because I already loved it. I just didn't go as often as I do now. It was a yearly thing for me, but uh, now it's something that I absolutely love. And it is the Disneyland of the North. I've always loved Disney, and it's a great place to go visit. So one of my favorite places now, probably largely thanks to YouTube. But even when I lived in South Dakota, like, I was wanting, I was begging my ex-wife to go to theme parks or go to any kind of fair or anything like that. I just love being around people. Matterhorn, here we go. Balance kind of thing with them. Ugh. Maybe this is cheating, but I'm going to do a little bit of water. Man, even Matterhorn looks fun. <laughs> v does love a scrambler. And I love it that she loves a scrambler. She used to love to like squish me on it. So she would, <laughs> she would like almost lay down and she'd be like, daddy, I'm gonna squish you so hard. <laughs> then I'd be like, ah, it was really fun. That's always a fun thing with kids. But I remember riding the scrambler with my grandma though. She'd smoked for years, but she loved a scrambler. Um, and she was a, 
she was great at riding rides with me. It was so much fun with her. Um, loved my grandma, but yeah, that was uh, that was always really fun. Anyway, we just said another one, Cadillac cars. So today we're filming on here, going over the bridge. It is actually an illegal thing to film on coasters in Ohio. Um, now, I do believe that Cedar Fair had something to do with that. That's not based on fact. That's just based on knowing that Cedar Fair is a big part of the Ohio culture. Um, see, because they have two theme parks, two massive theme parks that drive the economies of two large cities in the area. Um, so I do think there's a reason for that. Uh, but technically it is called the GoPro law and it is illegal for you to take a video on any coaster. It is not just a Cedar Point rule. It is illegal. You cannot do it. Now, whether lobbyists had anything to do with that or not, obviously I have my doubts. <laughs> but anyway, we just said Cedar, what is this one? Derby Downs. Derby Downs? Cedar Downs. Cedar Downs. Woo! <laughs> this is a workout. Like today, it's basically been a five hour day because I got here at noon. Oh, I'm saying that's the end. So two days and five hours, I did every ride. That's what I'm saying right now. I do know that I also did some Patreon stuff in this video. And one of the dares that they had for me was that I needed to go to uh, the Toes in the Sand Band and sing with them. Uh, now, obviously, like, Cedar Point has their controls. <laughs> you can't just sing with them. But they wanted me to sing with them, so I sang with them. Uh, so if you want to join Patreon and you want to dare me to do something, um, I call it Power Moves. You can do a power move and force me to do something that maybe I wouldn't normally like to do. They forced me to do Skyhawk before. They forced me to do lots of different things that I don't really love to do. And honestly, I ride it and I'm just like pooping my pants the whole time. But, you know, if that's what you want for me, <laughs> then you can force me to do that kind of thing if you want to. We're going to water rides right now. So yeah, everything's been ridden, but now I can ride whatever I think would be fun. Now, Frontier Trail, before Millennium Force was built, was really cool. It went all the way through as like Frontier Trail before you had the tunnel where Millennium Force was made now. Oh, shirt's open. One more shirt, one more button, unbutton. There we go. And I guess it's the rest of this drink, isn't it? Ooh, ooh. Shirts off entirely. There we go, one more. Now we gotta get the next one out. Still got to put our Cedar Point cup though. I hope these don't taste bad together. Oh, there's a good body shot. <laughs> oh, shirt open. Okay, we're going to unbutton one more. And once this head is gone, oh my word, look at that. Like, that is ridiculous. Maybe that's why they always want to pour it in, because it looks like a lot more when you pour it. So, I'm just doing, like, a costume change. If my shirt's open, it's a full drink. If my shirt's off, then it's another full drink. That's the way it works. But I've got to get another drink here. Like, that's the problem. The other one is good with getting wet. This one, maybe a little bit overkill. That's true. It is a good way to get wet. But Snake River Falls, you get soaked to your underwear. And I'm not joking. Um, of course, like, riding it with your shirt off, you know, it helps. Should this count or not? No, I won't count it. I'm down to one button. I mean, I can't count it right now. Not to mention, I haven't drank for the last one yet. And my shirt was open last time. I said costume changes. Oh, and I've mentioned two other rides, which means two more sips. Because I mentioned Thunder Canyon, and I mentioned 
Snake River Falls. I don't always or usually say that I am a paragon of traditional masculinity. I'm obviously a paragon of traditional masculinity. What are you talking about, Dredd? Look at these pecs. It's fine. I look good. I, I'm not saying I don't look good. I, I'm, a, I'm a good looking guy. It's fine. It's fine. Body positivity, baby. Can always be better, but it's okay. It's funny how the beginning of the year, Farmhouse Kitchen and Grill was a really big disappointment to me. And then as it continued, as the year continued throughout, Farmhouse Kitchen and Grill really truly became one of my absolute favorites. I love Farmhouse Kitchen and Grill, and I really thought that I would hate it. Indoor in 2022 just wasn't going to happen. Like, they, we just come out of the pandemic. There's no way it was going to happen. Um, but this year, we do have indoor spaces to eat, and I'm super excited about that. So that'll be fun to see. I'm just hoping they have some sort of entertainment that... They include with it from time to time. Okay, so CP and LE Railroad. I think I realized that I had not ridden this very late on. So, did I only play background music one time in this whole video? I mean, I got two shots out of it, but... I think I may have only played music in the background one time. I don't play that much background music. I know you guys like to just hear Cedar Point the way it is. So unless it's just boring, I don't usually add a ton of background music to it. Oh, we're on the beach. We gotta be shirtless. Almost guarantee it. Fun is just beginning. Ah, shirt open. There we go. Oh. And a full drink, I guess. So this is it. This is one of the power moves that people have come up with. So if you want to join Patreon, you can always force me to do a, a power move while I am in the parks during the year. Um, it's always something fun that we can do. And uh, I'll be actually starting up some polls on those very soon here for people to choose. You choose them if you're in the higher tiers. And you vote for them if you're in the lower tier. Um, and then you watch them if you're in the lowest tier for for a dollar. Um, so you, you're able to see all that later. It's like Gatekeeper is closed down. Gatekeeper closed down. That reminds me of 2021. Wait a minute. Did I just take off my shirt? No, I, I already had my shirt off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I do love Cedar Point Beach. I miss it so much. I'm so excited. I, honestly, I should have made my way to Cedar Point Beach when I was there for winter chill out. Yeah, like I said, I couldn't sing with them, but I could sing with them, <laughs> next to them or behind them or whatever. But also look at that fabulous tan line. <laughs> that, is, that is spectacular. Oh, yeah. Now I'm even talking about it. <laughs> I'm very good with the deep V when I'm in the parks. Also, my my singing here was so bad. It hurts me so much. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not singing good keys for me or anything like that, but it just, it is terrible. But it took me hours, hours, I'm not joking hours to figure out where the uh drinking game was i had no idea i searched every video i looked through every comment section i could not figure out where it was finally someone told me down in the comments <laughs> on my community post so first of all sticky said take a drink every time you say the name of a roller coaster quick and easy way to black out and i told him i don't want to black out and then I did, I took his, his advice anyway. <laughs> but I'm not taking a drink. I'm taking a sip every time. So I guess I modified it just a bit. But also you listed some in video on planning for Cedar Point in 2022. It was a screenshot or overlay that you showed in the video. That was Capo 2nd Fret 487. So I thank you, Capo Fret 487. Because like I said, I spent hours 
perusing through every comment section that I had. I don't know where this actual screenshot came from. Maybe it was a DM. I don't know. But I thought it was hilarious at the time. And I could not figure out which video it was from. So, thank you. Okay, so we're at Magnum. I know I just said the name. I should have been more of a sip, not a drink, but what can I say? First of all, I don't think you're allowed to try to stand up, so don't try. I remember people in high school saying like, oh yeah, we try to loosen up our seatbelt as much as we possibly can, and when we go over those hills, we stand up. I don't get it. Those hills, and especially the hills where you're inside a tunnel, scare me half to death. The whole idea that I could like stand up and decapitate myself scares me into oblivion. <laughs> I don't understand the whole idea of wanting to be able to do that. Tighten that belt as much as you possibly can. Stay belted to the seat. That's what I think you should do. <laughs> I don't get why people want other things. Oh, Val Raven, I miss you so much. Oh, but Val Raven, I just said the name Val Raven, so. My phone just ran out of space, so <laughs> we're gonna start back where we were. I, I paused it as soon as I saw it. Never heard them or seen them all practicing before. One of my dreams is to go backstage behind where the people actually perform and actually go see them before they perform while they're getting ready and all that kind of stuff. I'm sure that's something I would not be allowed to do, but the whole idea that there's just a wall right between me and either the parade or in this case the like celebration stage you know like it just drives me insane i'm <laughs> like man, I, would, I just want to go see it so bad oh, i can't wait to see shows this next year cedar point is so i they've just gotten so good at their shows like i know there were some good shows before too uh, their Halloween stuff when I was coming before I started doing YouTube for it um, was fantastic. It was really good. They always had like they had like trapeze artists and they had people doing that ring that you'd like stand on and it's like the size of your body and as you move it the right way you can do that. They also had rope artists like people that would like stretch themselves up into a rope. Like I love all of that. Uh, all of those things were incredible to me. Um, they also had a, a really cool stunt show at Cedar Point. Like, all those things were things that were fun. Um, but I'm just so excited to watch another show. You know, I don't really even care what their offerings are. Just as long as it's live entertainment, it's for me. It's also really fun to see the actual performers from Cedar Point getting roles on Broadway and getting roles in different places like super exciting for me it's sad to of course lose them but uh, you don't expect most performers at cedar point to you know stay at cedar point forever most performers anywhere don't stay at that one place for forever but uh, usually cedar point is getting a lot of people that are uh you know fresh out of college and they're ready to sing uh, and they're ready to sing or dance you know their way into fame as much as they can so it's fun to watch them actually make that dream come true come true and partly because of cedar point i wonder what their y2k stuff is going to be like this next year because y2k is still going strong wonder what they're like how much more they're gonna push it like i just i can't imagine they're not going to so something's gonna happen I, w I wonder what it's gonna be like wish i could have asked more questions in the actual costuming shop that they had because i like i i just would love to see what their plan is for this next year it was also funny the very last day of this show last year no costume changes like all the dancers i i really that's another thing i wanted to ask as at uh winter chill out 
is I wanted to ask like, is there, was there something that was like something that happened? Was there a fire? Like what happened to their costumes for the last day of the year this last year? If you check out that last day of shows video that I have, you'll see that the dancers just stayed in the same costumes for the entire time. It's really interesting to me that they did that. Um, I've already had a couple requests for um, what order you would take new people on rides here at Cedar Point. That was an upcoming video. You can see the order I would take new, you know, comers to Cedar Point on roller coasters if you check out this link up above. Also, if there are things that you would like to know about this coming season, Please let me know what you would like to know. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments. Turns out I didn't even need to take off my shirt. So great. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, <laughs> it's definitely fun. Definitely different. I hope it was entertaining for you. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit toasty. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching today. Um, I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. And... Uh, uh, let me know, like I said, if there's anything else that you would like to know about the Cedar Point season this next year. Uh, but one way or another, thank you so much for five years on YouTube. Um, I I have loved doing YouTube. Whether it's been that I've been doing Disney reviews or I've been doing Cedar Point stuff, I love it that I'm able to churn out a lot more content with you guys uh, for YouTube uh, for cedar point stuff um and it has become kind of the niche that i've just loved doing i've loved connecting with you guys and talking to you on uh about the theme parks and about what your trips are going to look like and what it is that you would like to do um so thank you guys for letting me know those things and thank you guys for uh asking me questions and engaging with me down in the comments i love to talk to you guys down there uh, press that like button if you enjoyed this, um, and uh, press that subscribe button if you haven't watched before. I'm If you haven't watched before, I'm amazed that you made it all the way to this point. But it, at that point, definitely you need to subscribe because you'll like the other videos way better than you'll like this one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, let's go!